today we're going to talk about Thales. Thales was born in 625 BC and he died 550 BC. Just to give you some context of his uh, lifespan, Socrates was born 470. 470 Socrates and Socrates died 399. Socrates lived 71 years. So why we are talking about Thales? Because he is known as the father of mathematics. Uh, uh, but before we get to there, we just want to uh, remind you uh, why he is regarded as the pioneer of mathematics. Before uh, Thales, if there was a wind, who is responsible for wind? God. If there was a, uh, a an earthquake, who, who is responsible for earthquake? A God. If there was a plague, who is responsible for plague? God. If there was a flood who is responsible for flood god rain god everything god so before tales everything god here come tales and tales said let's kick the god on his ass All right he was the first person who kicked the god on his ass no god he had the audacity to remove the god. Kick the god on the ass. Kick the god on the ass. All right. And that begins the story of mathematics. If you don't kick the ass on the god, you don't start the story of mathematics. All right. You start the story of religion. But he started the study of mathematics by kicking his ass. All right, so let's then start the mathematics study of mathematics. He is uh, credited uh, for one of the most famous mathematics theorem that is this. But before we get to the end, we also remind you he is also one of the founding father of of science because he used the ember and he hypothesized that if you rob the ember, you would be able to create a steady electricity. For example, a rubbing ember will allow electrons to transfer from one object to another object. He hypothesized that. What was his contribution in mathematics? Uh, his contribution in mathematics was great. Um, he said that take um, take a circle. Draw a diameter on the circle, call it A and B, this two point, one point call A, one point call B. Draw another point on the circle, call C, and then you connect this three dot and you get a right triangle, you get right angle so what does that mean a student what did he call it uh, he described angles yeah oh this is called inscribed angle theorem or the Thales theorem so in inscribed angle are right angle in inscribed angle are right triangle so let's see what that means all right so this is a right angle Okay, we try, we're gonna try to prove it. All right, so let's draw this thing again uh, a little nicely. Okay, let's draw a diameter. Uh, in the middle, of course. Let's get to let's pick another point right here. It doesn't matter. You can you can take the point any any place and you get the right angle. 
All right, so we're going to try to prove that this is a this is a right angle. All right, so uh, first let's draw the center. All right, let's draw the center. So what is it? R radius, and this one is R, of course, radius. All right, now let's connect this two point. Okay, let's connect this two point. Connect this two point. So this is of course R as well. Okay, so what type of, what do you notice? The mathematics is all about noticing. You notice isosceles. How many isosceles triangle do you notice? By the way, this is Thales theorem. The first theorem of mathematics. This is how the study of mathematics began in 650 BC. Long time, long, long time ago. All right. So, Thales theorem. All right. So, I have two isosceles. How, well, how many? Isosceles. Two isosceles. I do have how many isosceles? Two. I want to prove that this is indeed a right angle or this is a right triangle. All right, so let's call this one, so the, 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 this one, one, and this one also. So the opposite and opposite, so the, if this is one, this is one, okay? And let's see, uh, the opposite of this one is, let's call it 2, and the opposite of this one, let's call it 2, okay? Now the whole triangle is, we all agree that the whole triangle is 180, so we're going to write 180 is equal to the sum of all angles. So the sum of all angles, I have 1 here, plus I have 1 here, plus I have 2 here, plus I have 2 here. So 180 is equal to, I have two set of one. So I can write two set of angle one. Plus I have two set of angle two. So I can divide everything by two. So I get 90 is equal to angle one plus angle two. So angle one and angle two is indeed a right angle. So now I'm going to give you a formal proof, all right? This is an informal proof. Now I'm going to give you a formal proof that way. Thales did it long time ago, about 2,500 years ago, more than 2,500 years ago. All right, um, all right, so the formal proof, let's see the formal proof. Let's call it A. Let's call it B, let's call it C, let's call it alpha. If this is alpha, this is alpha. This is beta, this is beta. All right, now what do we see? Call it O. AO is equal to OC. AO is equal to OC is equal to OB. You see that, right? Weird. And then AOB AOB and OBC are isosceles. Are isosceles. Sus. Sus. When you say isosceles, like um, like that way I do, then you really engage yourself with Thales. And make sure you engage yourself with Thales. If you do not connect yourself with Thales, then you are not... I don't know what are you doing, but you're wasting your time. Okay, so what are you gonna do? 
we gonna do uh, 180 degree is equal to what? Alpha plus alpha plus beta plus beta. So 180 degree is equal to 2 alpha plus 2 beta. So 90 degree is equal to alpha plus beta. QED. This is indeed a line. All right, so summarize. Let's do the summary of our conversation. So, uh, what did what did Thales do? He was born in. Now you can hold it by hand. All right. So, Thales was born in. 625 in Greece today's uh, uh, today's Turkey at the time there was no national state there was no Turkey uh, um, uh, what is Turkey today uh, was Greece then 625 BC so he was born in 625 BC and and um, to just give you a historic um, context the Socrates born about 120 years after the birth of Thales. So Socrates was born around 470 BC. Socrates died uh, 399 BC. All right. So what did uh, Thales do before Thales? Everything was the God received credit for everything. When God, rain God, fire God. You get rich God, you get poor God, you get killed God, you survive God. Now Thales was tired of, of that. He said this is nonsense. He kicked the God right on his ass. And by doing so, he started the science and mathematics. He started the investigation of science and mathematics. And he uh, uh, on the, uh, at my behind, uh, one of the uh, greatest theorem that he is credited for called Thales theorem all right and we gave a proof that if you have if you inscribed a, a triangle in a circle just that the two points makes a diameter and one points at uh, is on the circle then you get a right angle or right triangle all right hopefully you enjoy this uh, series uh, which we call history of mathematics this uh, video made possible by uh, uh, patreons like you so please subscribe and give us funding to make more videos thank you subscribe to bari science lab to fall in love with math and science especially programming